They are sprinting from the 1,000 meter marker. Got them made to quite a nice start. Cosmic Star began well. Red Bomber shows pace. Rulership is up there too. Uh, and then came Halberdier in the white cap with Move and Shaker in the black sleeves. On the wide outside is Sheldon coming very wide into the dog leg. Further back is William Robertson, followed by Dice in the orange colours. Further back, Anfield's Rocket and Mist in Scotland. The filly is at the back, gives the leader 10 lengths. Down the straight they come, 500 to go. Move and Shaker now taken on by Halberdier down the inside. On the outside is Sheldon. Then came Rulership and Dice is also looking to get into it on the outside. 300 meters to go. Halberdier, Rulership on the outside. Dice is running a big race. Then came Sheldon further back. It's Rulership in front. Dice is finishing quickly on the outside. Rulership and Dice. These are the two with 100 to go. Dice, Rulership. Dice gets the better of Rulership. Third place will go to Cosmic Star. Then came William Robertson. Way they cross the line. Yes, they're on replay. So Halberdia is in front. Rulership is just on its inside, but your winner is on the outside, the right hand side in the orange colours under Pierre Stratum. Slightly hanging inwards, and rulership is also hanging towards the outside as they go down to the last hundred meters or so. They were nose for nose, and then Dice just slides past rulership easily. One three nine two, that's how they cross the line. Well, number Dice, you can't suppress talent, and uh, Dice has proved that today for Lucky Larkas. Lovely to have David Shaw on course. The uh, breeders here, Titanium oh. Racing, and of course, Pierre Stratum taking the ride just for the second time. And, you know, last time after his gelding, a bit disappointing, but today, different horse. Yeah, last time uh, we were uh, at Scottsville, and, you know, that time of the year, the track's always a little bit loose, and when he jumped, he stumbled, and uh, I was already behind the field, and, you know, he's quite a strong horse. In the 1200, hard to, to, to get, get him relaxed. Even today, I didn't want to ride him the way I rode him, but the other horses were very quick and had a whole bunch in front of me. Looking? So he settled nicely behind him and obviously kicked. <laughs> well done to Lucky because the, last, the horse's last three runs obviously weren't good. Mm. And uh, on his best form, he could win this race, but he didn't know what to expect. He just hoped that he comes back to himself. So well done to Lucky for. You know, apparently the patience that he got from his owner and um, it showed today and uh, obviously it was a pleasing win. Yeah, a lovely double in the card for you. Did you see Robbie Fred was here just now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were in the same year together. Yeah. Uh, we were big competition. He was quite a cheeky guy to, yeah. to ride against. Uh, if you beat him, uh, he should certainly got a mouthful. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was great, great uh, camaraderie uh, ship there and riding in the old days because, you know, you're riding against a quality jockey and uh, it ups your game. Well done, Pierre. Thank you. So Thank you. Pierre straight on the maestro, as we call him. Let's get Lucky into the picture here. Lucky uh, Hulakas, lovely to have your horse back to best. Well done. Yeah, no, thanks. It's, um, yeah, as you saw, like I said in that interview, I said to David, this horse can't run unplaced in any races. And, uh, yeah, and there were still two more races for the season. And I just had to, I just said, please, we can't. You, we, we, we're not the same horses, so we, we've got to stop. <laughs> and he said to me, do what you have to, and yeah, we stopped. I didn't take him out of work, I just took all the pressure off him, just let him become a happy horse again. I mean, he, I think he was going through body changes and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, so we just took, just said, let's get the pressure off him, and yeah, the pressure came off him, but it came on to me. Of ba course it did. Badly, yeah. Now I took strain this week, and... Um, I can't tell you how happy I am he's come back and bounced back. Um, look, it's not a top echelon, but it's, it's a good stepping stone for him to be back again. Well done to David. Well done to my whole team at home. I knew one missing person here, as Everista would have been doing cartwheels along here. I mean, this was his main boy. And um, yeah, well done to everybody. I couldn't be happier. Thank you, Lucky. Enjoy your moment. Cheers. Sir. Well done, Lucky. Lock us. Lucky to have David Shaw on course. <laughs> um, I spoke to him earlier in the day. Just before we chat about this horse, your, your horse did beat another horse home there, I think. Um, that's because the other horse didn't jump. <laughs> but uh, this one, fantastic. So happy for you guys that he's back to his best. Yeah, well, I'll, um, I knew if 90% uh, of him was here, then he, he's going to win. And 
yeah, I think it's a bit, a bit of pressure off uh, all of us. Um, we weren't sure if he actually wanted a race anymore after his uh, last three, but yeah, it's nice to see him bounce back. Yeah, well done. You put a lot into the game, so I'm so glad you got him back to where he was, and he really is a top horse. 100%. Um, yeah, there's obviously some big races coming up, and uh, we'll uh, plot from there, but it's nice to see him back, and that's the most important thing right now. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. And just to, um, to Lucky and the, the whole team, um, you know, we, we lost Everest though um, a few weeks ago and uh, he was very, very close to this horse. Uh, so to Everest though, um, the boy's back. And then, uh, yeah, also condolences go out to David Avery's family and, and, and friends. He was a good friend of mine and uh, he also passed away um, in the week. So, yeah, a big loss to racing. But, uh, yeah, racing goes on and life goes on and uh, at least this boy's back at the end of the day. Thank you. Nice words. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, David. Well done. Now we've got uh, Rambo, who's uh, representing Molaleki. Rambo, Molaleki, he's the groom for this horse and a uh, good horse he is. Yes, yes. Leleki is the one. Thanks to an uh, experienced man, Stragas Radom. So well done to our owner and the trainer. Thank you so much. Stable's going along very well. Indeed. Well done, Rambo. Thanks. Thank you. So, World Sports Betting, one and a half thousand rand. That goes to Malaleki. He's the groom. He's gone with his favourite horse, Dice, back to the stable. Numbers one, three, nine, and two. That's race number six, seven, eight. Here we go.